Here comes the Here comes the Here comes the Rugby is a game played by tractor shaped humans with a testosterone problem. The problem being is they have too much. The main objective of the game is to get the egg shaped ball okay. to get the ball across the try line whilst not getting killed by the opposing team. Once a try is scored by a team, they can add two points to their current five by kicking the egg in between the upright posts with a height requirement. In rugby there are 15 players on the field at a given moment, with 8 subs making it 23 per team. Starting from number 1 through 8 we have the weight of the team. This is their biggest contribution to the team, is their weight and the power, as these 8 make up the scrum. The scrum has two parts, numbers 1 through 5 which are the tied 5 and 6 through 8 which are free spirited and run as their hearts desire. First you have 1 and 3. These are your props, though one is a bit more loose than the other. Then you have your hooker, number 2. Him and number 1 have some things in common if you know what I mean. 1 through 3 makes up the first row of the scrum and have an average walking expectancy of about 35 years. Then you have 4 and 5. They are the tallest players in the team for reasons. Oh, and they spend most of the game either in between the props cheeks or in the air at lineouts. 6 and 7 are your flanks, uh, they tend to help out with the scrum as much as the ANC is helping out with the economy. Number 8 is kind of the quarterback, but a lot more terrifying. His job is to be at the back and every now and then pull a juke and run with the ball. That's it for the big guys, now we get to the fast as fuck boys, the back line. Number 9 is kind of like the bridge between the scrum and the back line, but he does tend to be a fly half most of the games these days. Then 10, the actual fly half, you know, his job is basically to kick. 11 is the first wing, the left wing. These tend to be the fastest guys on the team, mainly because they have to run away from the opposing team trying to kill them, you know? I mean, how fast would you run if you know this was chasing you? 12 and 13 are your inside and outside centers. When, when did this stop making sense? They basically just get the ball to 11 or 14. Then 14 is like 11 just on the other side of the field. Then last but not least you have the fullback, number 15. They tend to be the guy you see just before the enemy team scores. And the 8 on the bench, well, are on the bench, so they don't matter. Who in the Richie McCaw came up with the sport though? Rugby or rugby football as it was known started in about 1845 in England where they were playing a game of footy and just decided it was too calm so they picked up the ball and started killing each other and in the process squashed the ball which is now why we play with an egg shaped ball. Rugby is one of the biggest sports in the world as well as one of the most dangerous 12 people a year on average die. This is not a sport for the faint of heart like the Olympics, every four years the world comes together to test which country is the fastest, the strongest, the smartest, and lastly, the most bloodthirsty sound bitches out there. For the first time since the start of the Rugby World Cup, South Africa became the first country to beat their way to the top and win the trophy three times. Funny, since we beat the creators of the game for, for this honor. But above all, everyone watches this sport for one reason, and that is to catch a glimpse of either this, this this and lastly this but hey that's rugby